We are now ready to try to dissolve gallium. And we're going to start by putting it in water. And then if that doesn't work, we'll put it in hydrochloric acid. So we have one of our little ingots that we made. We're going to add that to the water. And it appears to not be doing anything. Sitting there, not reacting. Okay, well now, then, try putting an ingot into HCl. One molar hydrochloric acid. And truth in the advertising, we're using the same ingot. Okay. So we can see the ingot and its reflection actually below it, and it is not reacting in HCl. So we left that for a while and it's not doing anything. So next we'll try nitric acid, and we'll do that in the fume hood. Okay, we're in the fume hood, and now we're going to try putting our ingot of gallium into one molar nitric acid. Okay, we'll now place the ingot in 6 molar nitric acid. And still it appears to not be reacting. And so none of the acids we've used so far are capable of reacting with and dissolving gallium metal. So none of our attempts to dissolve gallium in water or hydrochloric acid or nitric acid, even at high concentrations, proved uh, fruitful. So now we're going to try seeing if gallium will dissolve in relatively strong base solution. And my friends, it would appear not. Just ruin our ingot there. It's clearly not reacting. My hair's a mess. All right, so class, we just spent a bunch of time trying to get gallium to dissolve in water or solutions of water using acids and bases. That, used, uh, that we used earlier to dissolve other metals successfully, and it didn't work. And so the point of this exercise is to try something that I didn't know the answer to, not look it up on the internet, and see if I could figure it out, and spend a fair amount of time doing that, and I didn't. And one thing to realize, this is the way science often goes. You try something, and it doesn't work, and you try something else, it doesn't work, you try something else, it doesn't work. And the, the basic idea is you keep plugging along, trying to chip away at figuring it out, and eventually, usually you do. But sometimes you never do. Sometimes you have projects that you've started that never pan out, and that's just the way it is. It doesn't mean you're a bad scientist. It just means that's the way the atoms work, and they do what they do.